Today's topic is how to increase memory by coding. Previously, a short lecture was given, but all the examples were quoted from history. This time, I want to give you three different examples from science. First example will be from astronomy, second from physics, and third from chemistry. If you closely watch this short lecture, you will able to memorize the thing by coding. This is the sun and several planets are moving around it. First planet is Mercury, the very fastest moving planet, very close to sun. Second is Venus, the hottest planet, brightest planet. Its temperature goes up to 500 degrees centigrade because it contains a lot of carbon dioxide. Then there is a beautiful colored ball, our Mother Earth. Then there is a Mars, which is the twin size to the Earth. It is of red color. Then there are giant star Jupiter. Jupiter is very large, about 100 times large uh, than Earth. It has got orange color, then Saturn, it's a beautiful ring around it, it's of yellow color, then there is a planet Uranus of greenish blue color, then Neptune, it is blue, and then Pluto and Li. These are the seven planets which no astronomers has reduced them to eight. Pe students and people face a lot of difficulty in memorizing their names and in correct order. If you make a small code, then you will not only be able to memorize all the names of the planets, but also their correct sequence. And the simple code is Madam Veena Ilahi married to Jamshed son Pratap. Write it for four, five, six, seven times. Speak it for four, five, six, seven times until it is memorized. Then, if you have memorized this sentence, you will be able to not only name all the pl planets, but you can give their sequence. M. Madam's M's M for Mercury, V for Venus, E for Earth, Mar for Mar, J for Jupiter, S for Saturn, U for Neptune, N for U for Uranus, N for Neptune, or P for Pluto. Here I want to tell you a astonishing thing that in mid 90s when I noticed their color I predicted that there will be a, a nine planet tenth planet and I named it Bokhari on my own name but later on Chinese discovered it and named it Li. The reason behind this idea about the existence of 10th planet, planet came into my mind from the colors. I saw the all the colors of rainbow. This is red, orange, yellow, green, and greenish blue and blue. And this is not the case that nature has forgotten the two remaining wavelengths, two colors. So I thought that Pluto might be of into go color and there must be another planet which uh, would have a violet color. So the color sequence gave me an idea that there is a 10th planet. Later on it proved by Chinese that there is a, there are 10 planets. But later on both Pluto and Li were excluded from the list due to their smaller size. 
Now come to physics. From sun we get 14 different radiations. Out of them, seven we can see and seven we cannot see. Among the seven which we can see are violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. And there is a famous quote, Vip Geyer. Whereas in the upper example, the code is Roegi BV. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And where these four cosmic rays, gamma rays, X rays, and ultraviolet ra radiations, they have smaller wavelength and more frequency, they cannot be seen by the human eye. Similarly, IR, microwaves and radio waves, which have longer wavelength and shorter frequency, low energy, human eye cannot all see them. So, we can see seven wavelengths and we cannot see seven wavelengths. God had cr created a balance. How to memorize them? It's a very simple thing. There was a person named Vip Guy. Once he got pain in his right side of the abdomen. He went to the doctor and he diagnosed it and he said to him, to him get x-ray urgently. Vip Guy, I am ready. Get x-ray urgently, Vip Guy, I am ready. So, memorize this code and then you can name all the 14 wavelengths. G for gamma rays, X for x-rays, U for ultraviolet and there are seven colors. Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. And then I am ready, I for infrared, M for microwave and R for radio wave. Then uh, their wavelength is also very easy to memorize. Cosmic ray has got 10 to raise power minus 13 meter. Reduce it by 2, 10 to raise minus 11, by, again by 2, 10 to raise minus 9, minus 7, minus 5, minus 3, minus 1. So can, you can easily memorize it. And uh, whereas this, these uh, visible colors, they are in between minus 7 and minus 5, 10 to raise minus 6. So if you place things in proper order, it is easier for you to memorize it. Third example is from the periodic table. There is a second period, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine and neon. Once upon a time, a boy was listening to BBC News. Another friend came to him and he said on seeing him, listen BBC, I am listening, you listen also, listen BBC. The friend replied, no foreign news, I don't want to listen foreign news. So memorize this code, listen BBC, no foreign news. Now it's very easy for you to memorize this period. Listen Li lithium, B for beryllium, B for boron, C for carbon, N for nitrogen, O for oxygen, F for fluorine, and NE for neon. So coding helps you to memorize things conveniently. Thank you for paying attention.